Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Dr. Kyle Knox. I'm a sports chiropractor in Westlake Village, California. I have a practice here. It's very sports driven. I've traveled around the world and got to work with USA Water Polo. Been around the world and seeing these athletes play, it's amazing on how much demand they put on their bodies and especially even the amateur to the youth athlete. Uh, we're here to talk about the mass suit. It's a tool that has an amazing ability to stimulate the core, call in more power for your sport, and it's just another, another way we can incorporate um, more training in a very specific way. I've worked a lot with Olympic athletes, you know, amateur athletes, youth athletes. It's really my true passion. Um, and, and I'm here to talk to a lot about mass suit today. Uh, the mass suit is something that came across my practice about you know, six months ago. Um, really got introduced from the owner, Jesse, and we started talking about the benefits. Didn't truly know what it was going to do for my, for my practice or for my athletes until I started putting them in it. Um, and I started seeing some pretty amazing things happen. We're going to talk about that today, a little research I've done, and um, just overall how the mass suit's going to benefit you as an athlete or someone looking to increase their, their activity overall. Um, so I have an example here. This is a young water polo player. Something we see a lot in athletics is the lower, lower back or the glutes not firing off properly. So with her, she has a little bit of a sway back. She's not like to use her glutes too much. Um, and you can see by the yellow line I've created that she definitely has a little bit of that lower back sway. Um, so what we've been finding is that with the mass suit, when you put it on, it activates the posterior chain or the back side of your body, so you have to fire off the glutes a lot more. When you do that, you start to notice that your core activates a little bit, you get a little taller in your posture, your shoulders naturally roll back. And it's pretty exciting to see that as a sports practitioner, uh, because we're trying to stimulate that a lot, you know, with our care. So let me show you what happens here in this next, this next picture. We put the suit on, and it may not look like a big change to the you know while you're while you're just looking at it. But what I see right away is that her lower back goes from being this kind of sway to having a little bit more activation in the core. She's a little bit more upright. Her shoulders are sitting a lot more natural, and her head is is right in line with that shoulder, her ear to the shoulder. Very exciting because you know, like I said. That sway back, not good for an athlete, especially getting into a movement, you know, water pole player, whatever it is you want to do, that core activation, even in good posture, is so important. So here's another movement that I had her go through, a simple lunge with a little rotation. So what she's doing is she's lunging and then she's rotating her body around. This is a really neat movement to see on how you utilize your power, how you utilize hip rotation and how you use that core to push through something. So for here, this is without the suit on. You can see she's weak in the glute. She's got her arms moving through, and she's got pretty decent rotation in that, that leading hip, that internal rotation. So now we're going to load her up on the suit, and we're going to see what it does for her. Right away, what I see, and this is just having her put the suit on. She's not doing anything different. She's just going through the same movement. Now that she has to push through the force of bands in the arms, and she has loaded in the legs and the posterior chain, She's firing off that back glute to push through. She has a little bit more internal rotation of that, that leading hip, and she has complete A-line now from the, the leg up the back. So she's really pushing through that core. She's having to use her power. She's calling on all the core power, and she's having to, to really extend that arm out. We actually see that she's stretching more because she has that resistance. So it's a functional movement that we've specifically lined up bands, that's the beauty of mass suit, is that you can specifically place the bands in certain positions so that you can have your athlete move and activate certain core muscles. She just put on so much more power with that movement so that when she gets into her sport, she's now able to go through and call on that true core power. So let's go to the next, um, the next thing here. She was dealing with, when she first came in my office, with a little knee pain. Very typical with water polo players, they get in that egg beater and they, their glutes get a little deactivated and they get a lot of tightness on the outside of the legs. Um, I worked with USA Water Polo for two years and you know every day, every time they got into a big egg beater day, you'd see it. You'd, you'd see the knee pain on the inside come out and um, you'd get a lot of tightness on the outside of the legs. They also did not work the, the glutes very much while they're in the water. Um, so this is what I saw. You see the midline here with the yellow and you can see right away that she's loading on the right hip more and that she is shifting away from her left knee. So that's where she's having the pain is on the left knee. 
So what that tells me as a practitioner is that she's not, she's, something is going weakness in that left hip. So we're gonna put her in the suit, and this is again, not doing any therapy before or after. This is just putting her right back into the suit, having her go through the same overhead squat movement, and right away you can see that her midline, it gets, she's a lot more centered. All we did is we put the yellow band here, between here, it activates the glute muscles, the glute meat, or really good um, rotator cuff of the hip. And then she's also having the bands on the back, which is creating better posture, better activation of that posterior chain. So right away, you're gonna see that she's a lot more centered. Her knee is not turning out as much, and that hip is being activated. This is a simple movement. I did not have to load her with any weights. I put the suit on, I, I snapped in the bands, and she had that hip activate, and she is, again, she's centered. It, it really showed um, how it's able to center that athlete. If you're in um, at the house and you don't have access to a, a beautiful gym, why not utilize a piece of equipment that you can achieve a lot more power? You can have a lot of functional movement with a load, and overall we can see a lot less injury because of the suit. We're going to talk a little bit about injury prevention. When we're talking about sports and where an athlete is in their, their specific time frame, um, you watch a lot of professional athletes, they'll go through their season and they have a maintenance, you know, they're constantly maintaining, they have their recovery, then they get off season and they have their strengthening season, they, they want to rebuild for the next season. We see a lot of young athletes today epidemically getting injured and it's a lot of repetitive stresses they're putting on their body without a lot of balance. Um, they don't have somebody to do checks and balances just like a professional athlete. So the mass suit has been a great tool for me in my practice to really see imbalances and, and touch on those and be able to tell the athlete, look, you're in your stabilization phase, or what, we, what I call my stabilization phase, before we get into the strength and, and power and dirts. Um, you're not able to hold a position statically, and, and it really exposes that with a mass suit. It's a pretty amazing tool that way. Um, so when I'm looking at an athlete and saying, do we need to move forward or do we need to step back a moment, um, it's nice to have a tool that allows you to make that judgment with um, a little bit more exposure. And I like to use that word exposure because you really are exposing a weakness. Um, just like the example I used earlier, we had somebody that had a hip, um, hip weakness for water polo. They are having knee pain, and yes, they're having pain in the knee, but is it truly coming from that? No, it, it's coming from that hip. And when they put that mass suit on, you can see how the hip is activated and it goes right back into proper position. Now our goal from that is to take that, that education that we learned from that and, and stabilize the hip so they can get back without the mass suit. Again, it's another tool. It really helps us point out the in, insufficiencies in the movement and so that we can help that athlete move forward, get more power, get more strength, and not break down. And that's the whole goal of it is we want to take these young athletes, we want to empower them so they don't get injured and, and really find what that weakness is, is telling us.